Hello everybody, it's me, Tonic TZW. We're here with the Tier 8 Panasian Destroyer, the Chung Mu, and uh, this one is simply titled Big Fat Zero. That doesn't mean that I don't like the ship, um, but I did need this one. I think it was for the Schlieffen project to progress it. Um, so my, um, my credits balance did take a hit. Um, to drop the 25 million on here and as i like my destroyers i did boost it with 150,000 global xp to unlock all the um upgrades and uh, then spent what is it another eight nine million on putting the standard upgrades onto the ship now the thing is i've got to play this one at double speed because uh, this was literally the first game in the ship i think um or one of the first and because I wasn't overly confident in it and I was still sort of twiddling around with builds and commanders, you know, I wanted to play a little bit cautiously. But, you know, we are going to do the right thing. We are going to push out and we are going to spot and we're going to see what we can do to support the team. Now, this is quite handy with its guns. Um, but it does only have the deep water torpedoes and uh, as you'll see I'm there I flash up the torpedo indicator to see how fast and how far away somebody is going now we're not running um, twist and track or perceptive here um, so we are playing pure gunboat and um, I'm pushing through here and I'm thinking I must be getting spotted. I must be getting spotted. There must be a destroyer out here somewhere. You can see me scanning left to right, keeping those guns on the go. I know that guy's over there on the corner. Is he going to park on the corner? Is he going to push out? And I'm thinking, no, you ain't going to make it this easy, red team, are you? Surely. But literally, everything's spotted. I am coming straight through the middle of this map. And this is one of the reasons why it's important to look at the um, the locations of the ships on the map and think on how you can work best for your team. So we're here, what, less than five minutes into the game and I'm on their cap and there's nobody out here that I can see that could potentially um be a threat to me in turning round and pushing in because by the time they get turned around i'm going to have a torpedo reload available again and so big widespread of 16 deep water torpedoes out across there and that is to let anybody know out there in those battleships that mate you don't want to be coming in this direction i know there's only one ship off to my left hand side he's been taken care of i think or at least he is in the process of being taken care of and the rest of red team have gone off to the left flank and um you'll see that the lightning sails in behind me i've only got two spotting ribbons and that is it the hipper is now realized and is turning around and coming back but i'm doing the spotting lightning's in his smoke he's laying the guns on and it's a rather uneventful game for me, but there's a Z23 as well. Game over, guys. Absolute zero on the damage. Two spots and one cap assist. That would have been a solo cap if the um, Lightning hadn't come in as well. But there you go. Um, even doing literally absolutely nothing, I finished third on the team. And uh, I was laughing about that one quite a lot. But we'll try and get some more games in the Chung Mu, see if we can get a better feel for how that ship plays. But a little bit of amusement for you. Stick around, click on one of these links, hit that like button. In fact, don't hit the like button on this one, it was embarrassing. Um, but do leave me a comment, and if you haven't done so already, please do subscribe to the channel. Until next time, take care of yourselves, and goodbye.